Alrighty, so this is part one of a two-part series of Six Flags Magic Mountain versus Cedar Point in the new Coaster Wars. So, a lot of speculation has been going around lately on whether the Coaster Wars are starting up again, and I strongly believe the Coaster Wars have started. I feel like they started a bit ago. I mean, look at both of these parks and how quickly they are building up their coaster lineup. We all know Cedar Point is a little farther behind than that to Magic Mountain, but Magic Mountain and Cedar Point have a very differing coaster lineup. So it's very difficult to decide which one is winning and who will win in the end. Quantity-wise, Six Flags Magic Mountain has the slighter upper hand. Um, and Cedar Point quality-wise, some may argue, definitely have the winning hand here. I mean, Steel Vengeance alone is way better than anything that you can ride at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Again, I'm making that opinion a little biased because I haven't been to Six Flags Magic Mountain. So if you feel like there's a ride at Six Flags Magic Mountain that is better than Steel Vengeance, don't hesitate to com comment down below and correct me on that controversial opinion. <laughs> now, for those of you that have been to both parks, comment down below which one you think is a better park and is going to win the coaster battle. And then for those of you that maybe haven't been to either or, still comment down below and let me know how you feel. So at the end of the video, again, many of you know, or if you're new here, you don't know, I have what's called control my video. So on Instagram, if you follow us, you'll be able to comment or have a say in what you feel or think of a certain subject on a video topic that I'm going to do. And at the end of my video, I will argue in your favor or the winning favor for that certain subject. Anyways, let's get back on topic. So Cedar Point is definitely, some would argue, the roller coaster capital of the world. But many would also argue that Six Flags Magic Mountain is also the roller coaster capital of the world. Let's stick to Cedar Point in this video, and Six Flags Magic Mountain will have its time to shine very shortly in another video. But in this video, we're going to argue why Cedar Point is going to win this, and what kind of coasters Cedar Point has in its future. I strongly believe Cedar Point has a very... one would say excellent or bright or strong future in terms of coasters. I have a feeling that we're not going to see a coaster break at Cedar Point like some other parks may experience. For example, Canada's Wonderland going into a seven year gap of big roller coasters. I have a feeling you're going to see maybe three years max in between another big coaster. I have a strong feeling that 2020 is actually Cedar Point's year again. And yes, I know this sucks for the smaller parks, and yes, why is Cedar Point going getting another coaster? Well, I'll tell you why. Cedar Point is trying to become, and they already are, but trying to become a bigger destination park than that to what they are now. Cedar Point pulls from a very medium-sized area at the moment. It's, it's not as big as they would like. And uh, Cedar Point is definitely aiming for a much larger market. I mean, they're going after Chicago. And then who is to say that's the end? We know Cedar Point is buying up a lot of land um, off of property as well. So there's definitely a big plan for this park and its future. And a lot of it is up in the air of what they're going for. I mean, thinking business-wise, I think we're going to see a lot of uh, hotels pop up on uh, on the uh, entrance to the peninsula. And I think we're gonna see maybe some maintenance shops moved off of site, maybe some attractions along there. Maybe they'll start to build up what is like International Drive in Orlando. That would be brilliant. Maybe they might even move parking off of the peninsula and have like the entrance down there. I know that's a, that's a really weird idea. I'm just trying to present everything and then you guys discuss down below. Cedar Point's definitely got a interesting future um, that that you guys <laughs> obviously are looking forward to. I mean, I would love it if this was my home park. I can already tell that this park is in an expansion phase. The park needs to grow, it's stuck. It's in this moment of, okay, we, we're pulling everyone we can from the current area we're in. We need to pull people from a farther area, uh, get a bigger outreach. And this is definitely going to be achieved by adding bigger attractions and more diverse attractions as well. 
which is gonna come to the end of my video, control our video. So you'll hear what you guys think that Cedar Point is going to build next. Many of you know that I think Cedar Point needs a B&M flyer. And I know at, in the control my video portion, a lot of you disagree with that, which is totally fine. Many of you know that this isn't my home park, so I have no idea what is in the future for Cedar Point. So don't believe what I say is coming to the park. I have no idea. I'm just speculating on what the park may be adding. So, you know, as you may, may know if you follow along, a BNM flyer is definitely what I think this park needs to complete its BNM lineup, to be more diverse, and it's an easy record to break. But a lot of you have a feel have a feeling it's going to be something else. Something like, hmm, what have you guys been saying? A GCI Woody? Yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit at the end. So I did a quick poll last minute on my Instagram page, Amusement Insiders, and we'll discuss what you guys strongly feel, and I use the word strongly, is coming to Cedar Point. So Cedar Point is very unique. Cedar Point's got record-breaking attractions left, right, and center, and they continue to add to that lineup. It is my favorite park to go to so far. And I use the word so far because I don't have too big of a diverse collection of parks that I've been to. I am working on expanding that very quickly, as next year I'll be going to the UK and across the United States to other parks. But right now, Cedar Point definitely has a powerhouse lineup of attractions. It is why I travel from Toronto to Cedar Point, Ohio every year. And I just said Cedar Point, Ohio. I mean, Sandusky, Ohio to go to Cedar Point every year <laughs> um, just because it's that awesome. In fact, I'm going again in a couple of weeks. I think four weeks from now, I'll be there again. And I can't wait. Steel Vengeance is my favorite ride currently. Maverick is up there on my top rides as well. In fact, this park houses a lot of my top attractions on my top list. Anyways, you all know that Cedar Point's a great park. I don't need to uh, comment on that any further, but I strongly feel Cedar Point is going to go down the quality um, road in terms of winning the coaster capital of the world. We already know that, but I strongly believe also that they're gonna try and go for quantity as well. They may be able to achieve this because Six Flags may be checkmating itself in just slowing down its um, additions. We know though that Six Flags Magic Mountain has something big in store. We're gonna go over that in my other video and I am gonna discuss how maybe this might counter this whole Steel Vengeance flag that Cedar Point planted in the ground. Is this a coaster war all over again? Yes, it is. It's evident. It's Cedar Point versus Six Flags Magic Mountain and they're going to go head to head. And who knows, maybe other Six Flags parks might get involved and more Cedar Fair parks might get involved as well. And you might see this whole new era of Coaster Wars going on. It's fantastic. This is great for the enthusiast community. It is evident that it's going to happen and I look forward to it. Bigger attractions, more attractions, more parks even. This is gonna be awesome. People are staying home, they're doing less traveling. So there are more regional, there's a more regional demand for amusement parks. Anyways, let's get to the control my videos. So again, you go on my Instagram and either on my story or on my page, there'll be a control my video post. I'll give you the topic and I'll ask a specific question and you just comment down below. So for this one, I asked, comment down below what you think Cedar Point's next coaster will be in the next five minutes to be featured in my Cedar Point Coaster Wars video. So coaster underscore clouds one said CGI record breaker Woody. <laughs> Kings Island Coaster Kid said Steel Vengeance. Um, no share 089 said family coaster our kingdom dot thrill park said bnm family invert as part of a huge family area expansion right by wicked twister dj dill in back bnm flying coaster ty le 1621 said gci record breaker um d dot z u l l o said gci Coaster.keeper said GCI retrack of st for Steel Vengeance. I can't believe I just read that out, but you got me. Um, six underscore farm said record breaking GCI. Theme Park Nerd underscore 11 said BM Flyer. And J dot R dot underscore D I Z O N said RMC Steel Vengeance. So again, I only gave people five minutes to respond to this. I'm sorry if you happen to miss it but definitely go follow my Instagram to participate in more of this. I wanna hear from you guys, what is it going to be? I mean, a lot of people are saying GCI Record Breaker. 
It could go either way, both have easy records to break, and that park needs a wooden coaster. Um, definitely, again, comment down below what I asked earlier, and then comment down below what year do you think the uh, park is going to get their next big attraction? We know their anniversary is coming up, and yes, typically Cedar Fair doesn't celebrate anniversaries, but this is Cedar Point we're talking about, and Cedar Point is the spoiled child of the family, and it so deserves it. As much as we disagree, it is definitely becoming a huge destination park, and there is a large, massive, we'll use the word massive, future in store for this park, and it is going to be awesome. Thanks for watching guys, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video. Head on over to our Instagram, and see you later guys. Thanks so much. Bye!